Freedom Hillbilly here, coming at you from a scorcher of a day about to begin. But today I'm going to show you how to set up the total station over an unknown point. So let's get into it. All right, so let's just get right into it. Basically, Trimble documentation has two types of stations, the known station and the free station. The station over an unknown point is basically called a free station. So you want to remember that terminology because that's the one that Trimble uses. They're Swedish, so let's just go with it. But what we do have are two known points. We have one point down there and one point down there. And the idea is to resection or triangulate to find the point that we're occupying. By the way, more terminology, the Army calls this the occupied station, just FYI. So let's go ahead and turn the machine on and walk you through the various steps in order to establish the station. But we also need to measure the height of this instrument. So go ahead and get our measuring tape out, put it on the mark, and we go up to the star, that's five, one, two, three, five point oh three. A little star up here. That's where you measure to. Go ahead and write that down. Now we're ready. We go ahead and power up this machine, let it go through its initialization stage. It'll end up in the standard P0 or local mode. Get your field book carry one of these around and we've sketched it out for you so we have point B with a target height of 6.0 that's the prism that's down that end of the field Let's see if we could bring it in you can see there's the we have a prism at that end of the field and then along the stone wall and we brought it in that corner there's the other one so we have a sketch of that, point B, target height 6, point C, target height 4.85, those are the two prisms. We're going to be establishing the station over the occupied point, and we're going to call that reference station 3, or RS3. We already have established the northern, easting, and elevation for each of those points, and we've measured the instrument height at RS3, 5.03 feet. So we have all the information that we need to establish that point through resection. Uh, that's basically maths. That's what they call that. So we just have to fill in the blanks here. The way to do that is with Establish Station Program 20. So now it's Program 20. Station Established. So this is called a free station. So let's select two. The job number, I just call it whatever you want to call it, type it in. And it's going into internal memory. And now it prompts you for the occupied station, and we're calling that RS3. But you can enter in whatever name you want. We are going to measure height, so answer yes. And the instrument height was 5.03. In the area file, we're just, I think it was one, and it's an internal memory, not found, so maybe it was zero. You want to give this a more descriptive name, I'm just using the defaults of area zero and one for these exercises here. So we're going to point B, that's the first point we, again, you want to use more descriptive names, uh, but that's what we chose. So point B sounds good and it digs it out of the memory and then you can compare it with what you have and it looks like it matches up so yes now the target height there was 6.0 feet and now it's prompting you to aim at the target and take a shot using the continuing with our army terminology we're going to aim at the target and take a shot. Line it up, get it on target. A little buzzing sound says we're on target. And now we press the aim button and take the shot. And hopefully you don't blow the prism up. So it's measuring. Bingo, it got it. Now we can registrate 
That's an interesting Swedish name, but we're going to go with it. Registrate the point. Now it's prompting us for the next point. It's not point B. We just did that. So we want to change that and go to point C using our original naming convention, A, B, C, D, E, F, <laughs> which is really bad, but um, that's what we chose. And then it digs it out of memory and says, is that okay? And again, you get your little notepad and it's like 430, 385, uh, and 1028085. Yep, looks good. Press yes. Target height is not 6, it's 4.85. I just happen to remember that because I have a fixed rod at that height um, that I use. So, enter. Now we turn the machine to that point, which should be over there in the woods somewhere, in the tree, and we're going to go ahead and line this out. And we focus in, boom, and then we can hear we're on target. Again, press the aim button, boom, taking the measurement. And we have it. Let's registrate that. And now the fun begins. It calculates. It does the resection in memory, you know, the, using the internal program, and gives you standard deviation of 0.05 with a differential of the uh, uh, elevation of 0.03. Now, those are feet. SF. I'm not really sure what it means. More. No. We're just going to use those two points. It does a calculation and gives you the answer. So now once we have that answer, we're going to write it down in our little field book. Let's press enter and it'll give us the standard deviation north, which is 0.035. Let's write that down to 035 feet. And standard deviation easting 0.040. So 0 0.040 feet is about 4.8 inches. So not bad over what is essentially a 265 foot run. And uh, then we press enter again and it gives us the elevation of 1021.510 with a standard what with a difference of 0 0.03 feet which again is about 3.6 inches. So, press enter again, and it's asking, do we want to keep this point? And the answer is yes, because 0.03 standard deviation is actually good. We're going to store it in area zero. Again, use a more imaginative name, um, like your job name. It's an internal memory one. And now it's done. It's going to loop back. To the beginning and ask you to reset your temperature pressure offset and do you want to accept the new ha horizontal angle reference and so this is at six degrees 40 minutes 20 seconds we want to write that down as well so you just hit enter to accept that if you wanted to change it you could don't do that so you want to take the ha ref number because you're going to use that number uh, when you set a search window for when you're setting out robotically to do a topographic mapping, but that's for another video. This is essentially how to set up a free station or an unknown station over an unknown point. Now we've put it on our coordinate system and we're ready to do our whatever it is we're doing. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out some of the other videos on other aspects of how to run this machine using its data collector. All right, Hillbilly out.